Hey. Hey, there's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. And I uh, got something I want to throw at you right quick before we get going. All right, you know that most, uh, you know, you see these things on YouTube and they say there's a link in the description and you go click on it and a lot of the times it takes you to Amazon. You buy it. Well, what those are, they're Amazon affiliate accounts or affiliate link, whatever you call it. Is if, let's say I put a pair of, I don't know, a pair of sunglasses on there. So, hey, you go buy these sunglasses, blah, blah, blah. And you buy it, and then Amazon puts some money in an account to the person that's offering the stuff. People make income off of that. Heck, some people make a living off of it. That's all they do. Um, we've set one up. Uh, I've never had one before, uh, simply because I just didn't feel the need for it. Because you know, God provides me and my, my family with what we need through our business here locally. Uh, through the online academy websites, so, you know, I, I just didn't feel the need to. But light bulb went off. I set one up, but it's for Team Jacks, so it's no different than the Smile on Amazon. Uh, but I can put direct links to things like if I'm using a rake or if I'm using, you know, my GoPro or whatever, and you want to pick something up like that, and I can I'll link it up. In the description whatever I'm using in the video that you know we don't offer in other ways and which is a lot of stuff like that uh, it's just all kind of things and you'll see them throughout the year and I'll try to give you a heads up that, you know it's a it's a team Jack's foundation thing none of that money comes to us it, it'll all be whoo I just burped on camera excuse me uh, all that money that we collect through those Amazon links we will take that money to Philadelphia with us and give it away to these families that need kids. So uh, be paying attention to that. You're gonna hear a whole lot about that uh, Team Jacks Foundation because it's a it's a, an extreme passion of mine and my wife. Uh, we're starting to get our kids involved in it. Uh, it is absolutely more blessed to give than to receive. And talking about giving away, man, does anybody want my flipping Christmas present? I mean, gosh, it's a mower, it's a blower, it's all kind of stuff. And I've had two winners so far. The first guy I drew, uh, I emailed him, he ain't emailed me back. I give him a week. I drew a second fella. His name is in the description. I've emailed him with the email he give me. No answer yet, so I'm gonna give him a week. If he don't, if he don't answer or reply, heck, I'm gonna draw again. I'm gonna keep drawing until somebody wins it. Now, you know the way I do my leaves. I've got the one, two, three, four, five, six big old crepe myrtles. I've got these uh, about five, one, two, three. I got five of these big maple trees right here. The rest are cryptomeria, and uh, which they don't drop anything. They don't drop leaves anyway. And you know, these are deciduous, so they, they drop their leaves when the frost comes and they're naked. Uh, you know, there's nothing on them. And then springtime, when the ground warms up, they bud out and then they put new leaves on them. They're, they're all the way around back to the next frost. Uh, well, the problem is you end up with leaves all over the place. Now, I keep them off the yard uh, during the, you know, the fall when they're dropping. And I blow them up in my natural areas. That's one of the reasons when I designed uh, this property, when I designed this layout, I made my natural areas so big because I wanted somewhere to put my uh, put my leaves at during the fall. Well, now that they're all gone, I've got leaves right here. I want to get them up. I want to remove them from my pine needles. Uh, for one, to uncover these pine needles so we can see them. And number two, as I'm getting ready to bring in some fresh pine needles and color the place up again and give it that bright look uh, probably in another month or so. Probably, I don't know, 1st of February or something like that. So, I've had a lot of questions about, well, Pete, how do you get the pine needles or how do you get the leaves off of the pine needles? But it's simple. I use a backpack blower. Now, you know I've always used steel. I've been using the steel BR67800 for, phew, Man, since day one. Well, no, that's not true. I started off with an Echo backpack blower. Those things are so freaking heavy, you know, 15 years ago, 
that I jumped over to the steel and started using steel blowers and we've had 30 or 40 of them in the, the time span of 15 years, that incredible backpack blower. Went to uh, Forsyth Mower Works in Winston-Salem to get my a new snow plow put on the truck and Corey talked me into buying a Echo. So I bought an Echo, the new one. Man, it, it, I really like this thing. It's super lightweight, got tons of power. Uh, I don't know how it, I, don't, I really can't see, uh, what's a good way to word this? On a, on a scale, that ain't the right way to do it. Um, uh, the steel versus the Echo, I, I haven't used this one enough to say I like it better than the, the steel. Um, I've used it enough to say I like it just as much as the steel. I don't think you would go wrong buying either one of them. I think both of them would do the job. I mean, heck, a backpack blower is only going to do so much until you get into the big ride-on machines. And of course, I've got my billy goat here today, too, to help with this. And that, uh, we had a hurricane leaf blower. That's a big ride-on blower. We bought one uh, years ago when hurricane first come out. And la at the end of last fall, the thing blew up on me. The motor blew up. And... Uh, it was years old, I don't know how old it was, but it was getting some age on it. Uh, hundreds of hours of use out of it. And, and it was gonna cost me half of what a brand new machine cost to replace the engine. So I said, the heck with that, scrap it, sell it for whatever we can get out of it. And I bought uh, the new version, which is Billy Goat. Billy Goat bought Hurricane out to my understanding. And they have a smaller unit and a bigger unit. And I've got the bigger unit, love it. So you'll see some action with that today too. At the end of the day, what my, my goal is to remove the majority of the leaves from the pine needles without disturbing the pine needles. Okay, anybody could come in here and go wide open and blow everything out and clean it up and clean it up really good. Well, I wanna preserve my needles. They they're still look pretty good. Uh, you'll see that when we remove the leaves, the color's different because uh, it's rained on them and the, those pine needles got moisture in them. They're super dark red. And that's the way pine needles look after it rains. Uh, they absorb that moisture and the color brightens up on them. Now, obviously, if you've got uh, mulch, like a double ground mulch, uh, some of that dyed mulch uh, is pretty, pretty firm rock in your bed man this is going to be a breeze for you leaves blow off of those type uh material really easy uh the pine bark mini nuggets you have to be super careful with those those you need to blow those things everywhere and then pine needles you have to be very careful with them because they're lightweight they the leaves get down in there and lock in and so when you blow in you know it's, you may blow some pine needles out and even i do that as long as i've been doing this as peculiar as I am, I still remove some of the pine needles. I'm okay with that. My, the my end, of the end of the day, I want the majority of the leaves gone. So when I'm done with this job, uh, I'm gonna say 90% of the leaves will be out. I will not get them all out. That's just the way it is. Some of that stuff's down in the pine needles stuck and it's not gonna come out. And I'm completely okay with that. I will sleep very well tonight knowing that I didn't get it 100% clean because it's just not possible. Obviously, the best way to do this and the way our maintenance crews do it is during the leaf season when leaves are actively falling, we're making weekly visits to our accounts and we're blowing beds, bushes, everything every week as they fall. So there's not as many leaves to blow out. Much easier to do that. I don't have that luxury here uh, simply because of my schedule. Uh, I work, I got kids, I got church, I got family, I got a wife, blah, blah, blah. And I just can't do that every single week. That's why I blow them out of the grass, into the bed. And then when time allows, I come out here and do a final cleanup. So here's the trick. I blow from the top down. Okay, meaning I don't take the blower and gouge it down in here. I start up here, and you'll see me a lot. I'll I'll bob the, I guess I like bobbing for apples. I'll I'll bob the the. We'll call this the barrel. I I 
I'm a, I love guns, man. I love guns, and and so we'll talk. We'll, we'll relate this to as a uh, a firearm. This will be the barrel of the blower, and I'll bob the barrel up and down a little bit, and just kind of lightly hit the top of the leaves. I'm not trying to shoo all at one time. I'm just inching away at it, taking a little bit here and there, and I'm physically watching the pine needles and seeing how they react to the air coming out of the blower. Because when I see the pine needles want to start ripping up and go, I back off. A lot of trigger control involved, okay? You know, just, just like your trigger control when, you, when you're shooting your Glock or your Springfield or whatever, you want to have really good trigger control right here with your throttle. I don't want to come in and just gouge it. And of course, you have to give it enough gas to where you actually do something. All right, so I'm going to fire this up. I'm going to clean this area right here a little bit. Do a little, little speed up on the video and let you see how this looks. And then we'll check it out when I get done. <laughs> my goal by getting at least 90% probably 95% of the bulk of the leaves out and you can see I've got a windrow of them right there now I've already spoken to my uh, neighbor a couple houses down and he's got woods behind his uh, lot back there and he's giving me permission uh, to blow those leaves back there and while I'm back there I go ahead and blow his backyard off for him uh, as a thank you while I've got my my big blower out here so I blow them clean across my neighbor's backyard uh, my other neighbor's backyard and get them in the woods back there so hey thank you for watching uh, like and subscribe and tell all your buddies uh, I got lots of cool yard videos to come uh, in 2020 uh, remember I got something totally and completely new I'm doing on tall fescue we're gonna cut it down real short keep it short all year see how that works um, I'm gonna leave you with some more what are we gonna call it action footage or something whatever you gonna call it uh, from the work I'm doing today we'll put a little bit of music to it make it cool and so I'm gonna blow all this out there finish blowing all the beds I hope this was helpful and um, again check the description for uh, the uh, crap Gosh, I am just not with it right now. Um, check the description for the winner of the Christmas giveaway. Uh, to see if your name's in there. If it is, you better hurry up and email me because you got a week. And uh, uh, then I'm going to pick a different winner. So thank you for watching. Check you later. <laughs>